Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be looking at how to combine this table to this table and all the things to look out for when you do it. So I'm going to configure this table like an L. I kind of like it to kind of do a swooping round mega desk look. And in order to do that, we're going to have to get this table surface lined up with this one. So we'll be looking at that. Um, but before we do anything, I want to make sure that both the side surfaces are clean. And I'm just going to do that with some WD-40, some red Scotch-Brite, and then we'll wipe it clean with a lint-free rag. So let's get that done first. A couple sprays. This is just going to make sure there's no yuckies on there that's going to mess anything up. All right. And then a nice good wipe down with a rag. Okay, problem number one done. The next step is what we're gonna have to worry about is getting that elevation correct. So let me show you. I have this table on wheels, which is really nice. It's gonna make the job a little bit easier. But as you can see, when I've bumped up here, that we're a little bit different elevation change. And that's okay, we're gonna adjust that with the wheels. Now, depending on which table you want to conform to, maybe this table's level and this one's not, you might need to raise this one. Uh, but in my case, this one's going to stay the same. This little table is going to conform to it. Okay. And what I'm looking for is I just want to try to get my bolts in the holes first. And then we'll worry about calibrating it. I'm going to turn this hub until the surfaces line up. And I'm just going to go down, just using my eyeball at the moment. So you can see the table's kind of rocking. That's all right. We'll adjust it here in a minute. Okay, so there's two ways we can combine the table. We can actually bolt it with some bolts, or we could use the tack bolts. I'm just gonna use the tack bolts because they work really good for this. Okay, so I'm just gonna come up here. I'm gonna try to get one on the thirds or on the edge. There it goes. Oh, that worked out slick. Let's turn on my fingers. That's it, we're locked together. How easy is that? What's happening is our table surface, because our bolts are lined up, this looks really, really nice. But this side is high, according to the level. So I'm just gonna put the level on here and just watch it get lined up. And go down until everything matches up with the straight edge. So I can see when the table touches the level. There it goes. There we go. Now from here, just make sure all the the legs are touching the ground. If this was a permanent position, I'd lock the jam nuts. Nice and straight. There's no lip. Looks good. You can see the outside of the table over here is nice and straight. So now I know that this row is in perfect alignment with the one next to it. I have now created the mega table. How cool is this? So that took about four minutes to combine the tables together, which I think is really fast, by the way. And hopefully I answered your questions on how to do that. If you guys have more in the future, please visit fireballtool.com. Hopefully I can answer some there. And I look forward to doing more of these videos for you. So I'll see you guys on the next one.